and I am back. So I decided I would do another video. Just film it now, because why not? I'm starting to feel up for it really. Getting a better mood. This time I decided to do a standalone uh yeah, sorry, <laughs> a standalone focusing um video about some of my favorite downloads. Of course, a lot of people I love to read, and most of the books out there really are series or companion series. So a lot of the books I love can't be in this video because they're part of a series or companion series. I excluded the companion series from this video as well to make it more narrow. But at the same time, I read a lot, a lot. And I kind of am thinking there are some books that they are own or that I love that can't that don't don't have right with me here to show you. So I'll probably do more of these videos in the future. But this is anyway some standalones that I recommend to you highly. And these are both uh both retellings and magical realisms and and yeah, these are all over the place really. It's not just one type of standalone. The one thing they have in common though is that they're all YA. So I'm gonna start with Starry Nights by Daisy Whitney. Whitney, yeah. This is about a boy who Yeah, it's been a while since I've read it. Yeah. A boy who goes to he's in Paris and don't remember how if it's for vacation or something, but at least he's in Paris. He goes to a museum. And what happens? The arch comes to life. So sort of like night at, night at the museum. Just more like... The, I think there's a... Because, yeah, as I just said, it's been once you run this, but I think there's a villain aspect to this. So, so someone tries to... Someone wants to hurt the arch or something. So you have that conflict there. But you also have that nice romance there between the art, one of the art people from the paintings and the main character, Julian. So that's really fun. And you have the aspects of Paris. So that's a very good setting. And yeah, it's a very fun book. It's a very good book. It, it focuses on a lot of different arts. It's not just one, but you have, you have different art aspects around the museum, so kind of like Night, night at Museum, you learn a lot about art, and Night, night at Museum, you learn a lot about history. So this one, Starry Nights, Daisy Whitney, check it out. I've heard that Disney, Daisy Whitney also wrote a book about rape or something, and then that's much more hard-hitting. This is good, but it's not that hard-hitting. Uh, I haven't read her other book, I'm not sure if I will. But anyway, this one is very, very good. And then next up we have Kill the Boy Man. And you might think, oh, well, this is about some crazy fangirls. Yes, it is. But it kinda is in a specific way. And now I'm gonna tell you something, which you might think, oh no, you spoiled it. No, because it happened it happens very quickly. The title actually is kind of uh, literal. They end up killing one of the people people in a boy van. And then Chaos ensues. So it kind of, um, it's kind of of the uh, takes focuses on on the, it focuses on, on the aspects of fangirl where you can go too much. Like you know, fan actually is short for fanatic, and these girls actually are kind of fanatic. Uh, so this is kind of darkish, I would say, because of course there's a murder in it. Well, accidental murder. But it's also a very interesting book and nice look at how crazy teenage girl girls can be and it's just very fun. And it actually doesn't really have that much romance, which is kind of fun to read books that don't have that much romance. Kill the Boy Band by Gladys Moldovsky. Check it out. And then you have, as I actually mentioned this before also, well, you would sometimes. I mean. I'm not always going to mention new books. Sometimes I'm going to pick up books I've talked about before. And this one is The Frog Kisser by Gaffnix. It's as I said before, it's it's not a retelling of any specific specific, specific fairy tale, but it's more like a parody or a 
twist on the fairy tales in general, really. So it has a, like a very much fairy tale aspect, but it's not one fairy tale it's focusing on, and it's very fun. It's a, as I said, it's a parody on fairy tales, really. Uh, so there's actually not romance in it. Well, there's romance, but it's not like really there at all, really. And it's got a very fun villa actually, and it's got a very good setting and world, and it's just very very fun. Check it out. Definitely sure check it out. And also very fun uh, cover really, because you see it's very nice and very good tile over there. And I really like it. Check it out. And then next you have Wake Onto Me by Lisa Catch. Catch. How do you say C A C H? Cack? Catch? I don't know. Lisa C A C H. And it looks, you know, you see, it looks very steamy. It's actually not that steamy, but it's very romantic. Uh, it's a standalone, which most fantasy books aren't. Well, often they aren't, anyway. So this is kind of fun to have it as a standalone. It has. Uh, it has it has castles, it has uh, difficult, impossible love, and it has great characters. And it's kind of like, I think you could think of like, think of a, a, a cheesy Hallmark movie or a cheesy Disney movie. But it's like a cheesy TV movie. But it's just, so it's kind of the same concept as... A ghost, there's different timeline, there's kind of, you kind of think the concept of it all things seems a bit weird, like, is this gonna work? Like, a different time, a different place, a different reality, that's where love, the love interest comes from. So it kind of sounds cheesy and like, is this gonna work? But it actually does, it actually does. It's, it's executed, executed in a very good way, really. So I would say if you into if you're interested in something romantic and one and done standalone, check this out. Next one is uh I was about to say romantic. I don't think there was that more romance in this. I should reread more books I'm talking about, but I shouldn't back I could. Yeah, really, I know I talked about doing <laughs> you have a reread. But there's still some months left. Anyway, this book is a parody. Another one, actually, because I talked about focus earlier. This is a parody on the YA paranormal trend. You know, back in the old days when they had werewolves and, tw and vampires and everything all the time. Zombies and everything. So this is kind of... No, it's actually not insane here, but it actually says uh, somewhere, I'm not sure what I wrote. But it was actually described as Breakfast Club meets uh, meets YA Paranormal, which is kind of true, really. You have the Breakfast Club thing where they meet, have a club that meets after school, and it's kind of a detention. But at the same time, it's a it's a lot of them. Uh, lo most of them are supernatural people. They're vampires. They're ghosts. They're werewolves. And then the school actually gets mistaken for being a vampire. It's kind of fun. Jos Josie Griffin is not a vampire. She has to she has to tell him, I'm not a vampire. No, I'm not. And it's just very funny. It pokes at all the tropes and all the aspects of why you play normal trend and books. And yeah, it's very good. You should check it out. I should as well. Reread it, you know. Anyway, very, very fun. And lastly, again, actually, a parody book. This one parodies solely vampire books. So and yeah, it's Team Human. So you have like the vamp the parody of the whole like Team Edward, Team Jacob, Team that, Team that, all that stuff. And you have a uh, uh, Asian, no, you have a Chinese American protagonist. So that's fun to have like a diversity in a standalone, and uh, in a standalone fantasy. And she's not the one that's like part of the main romance. It's her best friend, her best friend, and the vampire. And she thinks like, "Well, you love a vampire, really, really? You're 
you know vampires are so yesterday? And she's like very against it. And then she gets a love story as well. And yeah, it's a very good story. So check it out. Very funny. And yeah, and that was a couple of standalones I think you should check out. And if you have any standalones you want to recommend to me, just comment them in a doobly-doo. And... Really?